here you go. This will be exciting for you. Or do you want me to read Yay! It? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> it's at its final destination. Yes, the James Webb Space Telescope reaches its final destination one million miles from Earth. It launched back before Christmas. And let's find it. This, guys, you did, this right here is going to be so exciting when these photos start coming in. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we're... So NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has finally reached its cosmic perch and is gearing up for its observations of the ancient universe. On Monday, JWST settled into its final orbit at the second Sun-Earth La uh, La Lagrange point, or L2. Why don't you just fucking say L2? This is a gravitationally stable point where the Sun and Earth's gravity cancel each other out. The team behind the mission are waiting for the telescope's instruments to cool down before it begins its observations, but are expecting the first tantalizing JWST image to drop within five months and the machine telescope to be full, fully operational shortly after. It launched on December 25th, 2021, and has spent nearly a month traveling through space to reach L2. We are pretty excited that the, that the spacecraft portion has been going as well as it has, and we've been looking forward to the science instruments. Amy Lowe, JWST Vehicle Engineering Lead at Northrop Grumman, said during a press conference on Monday. At 2 p.m. Eastern Monday, JWST fired its onboard thrusters for nearly five minutes, 297 seconds, to complete its final course correction for, to, the, to the telescope's trajectory. That final mid-course burn added about 3.6 miles per hour to, to, the, to web speed, sending it to its L2 orbit. Now that the telescope has reached its L2 point, Mission Control will take about six months to ensure that, the, that its instruments are working properly before it can begin scientific operations. Hell yeah. Yes. And it's, I'm sure they're going to tell us uh, how far back it can look. But during its journey to L2, the telescope used as little propellant as possible to save up for, this, for its remaining lifespan. The perch at L2 ensures that JWST stays facing away from the sun at all points, protecting itself against the light and heat of the star so that the telescope's instruments can get cold enough to function. It also keeps the telescope out of the shadows of both the Earth and the moon, allowing it to have an un unobstructed view of the universe for the entire duration of its orbit. Meanwhile, Hubble goes in and out of Earth's shadow every 90 minutes, so you have to break up how long you can use it. This thing, online all the time. Fucking Everything amazing. we're doing is about... you damn right. Everything we're doing is about getting the observatory ready to do transformative science, Jane Rigby, Webb's operations project scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said during a press conference. The next three months, at least, are all about getting the mirrors aligned so they're, so they're working as one unified telescope. If you guys remember, whenever Hubble launched, we actually had to send multiple missions up to readjust a lot of the mirrors because they had it wrong. Yeah, well, we can't send astronauts to this one. No. <laughs> they won't you, you come cannot. Back. No. And then... And then in the last two months of commissioning, we will make sure that the science instruments are working and that they are ready to do science. Yeah, that's what it's, duh. Science stuff, guys. Science stuff. We are ready to do science! <laughs> <laughs> the telescope sports a 21-foot wide, 4-inch thick with two Cs, tilting of 18 beryllium mirrors coated in gold, acting as one large mirror. Webb's large mirror and its position outside of Earth's influence allow it to observe distant objects in the universe better than any other <laughs> instrument in the world. JWST will probe the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets, peer back in time and galaxies that formed during the early years in the universe, and investigate solar system moons that may have some form of life in their subsurface oceans. We talked about that earlier. Yep. Webb will take 180 days to complete one orbit around the sun. An orbit, so it's half, basically half a, it has half the, half a year. Ha Each year is half of ours. Half of what <clears> it takes <throat> to orbit around your mom. Yeah, basically. Okay. So the orbit is basically on the anti-sun direction from the Earth, right? So it's out there, and it's like in full orbit around the L2 point around like twice a year, Rigby said. We have to keep the sun shield such that the sun and Earth are blocked to the telescope. The telescope never gets sunlight on it again. That's the goal. Web can be seen about a in a web can be seen uh, by about a third of the sky at any given time. The field of which the telescope can be pointed rotates slowly as Earth and the telescope go around the sun. As the team makes a schedule for Webb's observations, they look over targets that have been approved and work out a schedule that minimizes time travel between each target. Webb can look at any given point in the sky during the course of the year, but at any given one time, it can look at it about one third of the sky. That's wild. Badass. That's a lot of sky to look at. That's a shit ton of sky. That is badass. I'm so excited about the first pictures coming back, dude. Yeah, I think they said it, they expect it to be a, because, because, of how long it takes light to reach us and how things work. Like, you know, technically, what is it? It takes rays from the sun seven minutes to get to Earth or some shit like that? Uh, about eight minutes. Um, eight minutes. Okay. I, I was close. Yeah. But thank you. 
Thank you. Hey, and now, seven, eight, nine. Show, okay. Rainbow. Seven, eight, nine. Um, Agreed, because, you know. Eight minutes, weird. 33 seconds. Look at that. We're getting one up by the fucking yard gnome. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so they expect this thing to be able to basically look back in time roughly like 18 million years because of the photos it's going to be able to take it with the light reaching it. Yep. Oh. So that's nuts. I can't wait. You know how many? Yeah. Just the, uh, when that first photo comes out, Windows is just gonna fucking blow up like every yeah. like everyone's gonna set their desktop to it oh 100 like, why wouldn't you they're gonna be some of the most magnificent fucking photos of the universe we have ever fucking seen you know it's it's gonna be mind-blowing 